All right, folks, we uh, are here at Little White Dory. I'm Bill, and I have my, well, you can see trays 13, 12, 11, 12, 13. Lots of trays growing. Um, this tray in the middle sprouted, and I didn't catch it in time, so they got a little leggy. Um, but the others are not so much. I'm sorry about the red light, but that's just the way the, it's probably not focusing, too. But anyway, um, down here in the basement, once again, I just finished... Putting up some more trays. Got three more over here. And we're going to be putting some seeds in. Um, right now I only have one, um, one tray on the heating pad. And you can see they're just starting to sprout. These are my uh, peppers from Baker's Creek. I've got some Aji Chipinata, something like that. Carolina Reapers and Peach Habaneros, along with, with a couple of uh, just generic um, burpee, I guess they call them hum Hungarian wax hot peppers. And uh, we have a cover on them just to keep the humidity up. Sorry about that, but I needed two hands. <laughs> and these are the mats I have here, and they're hooked up to this uh, temperature controller. Uh, it's shooting for 85 degrees. The um, the probe is catching a temperature of 82 and a half, so it's trying to raise it up. Uh, it's a little bit of a glare. There you go. This is telling me that the heating elements are on. I can also set it up to have a fan so that if it would overheat, it would turn a fan on to cool it down. So it works both heating and cooling. The um, trays that I'm using are these six cell, six pack, I guess you call them. And um, one of the things I've learned is and it's, you know, you live and learn. I had purchased some of these, I'm going to call them hard, uh, you know, how can I describe it? It's a, it's a hard plastic. And I thought, oh, they'll be better. Well, I don't know what better is measured by, but fortunately I got um, a double shipment. So I made out. And then I started with these um, thinner little... Like almost cellophane, not cellophane, I don't, I don't know the name of the plastic, but it's a, a much thinner, flexible plastic. And I think that these are going to work out much better for what I want. Originally I was thinking I'd be popping each one of these out and transplanting. Um, here's my topsoil, uh, not topsoil, uh, seeding soil. And, um, you know, it's funny, I, I have right down in here some of my mistakes, some of the things that didn't work. And... The irony is, is that although I gave up on them, I had to kind of laugh when I pulled this out. And I thought, well, it's a lot of garbage, but something's trying to live in there. And there was more than one, you know. Here's another one where a couple of these things have actually started to grow. But these were just the, the extra seeds that started inside a cell. Um, it's kind of still messing me with, uh, the temperatures are still messing with me. Right now I have this rack is empty, they're outside. These are started. I didn't really want to move them out and bring them back in today, so I kind of kept them out. And then I have the in-betweeners, or I guess you call them tweeners, right? When you have... Let me just pull a chair over here so I can sit instead of having the squat. These are... Um, these started on March 19th. And you can see they're, they're kind of happy. Um, I just gave them a little bit of their first dose of, uh, you know, watering with a little fertilizer in it. I'm hoping this is actually kind of, you know, focusing and not so bad as far as quality. I won't know until I'm looking at it. You know, uh, everything seems to be okay. Maybe some of the things are a little bit leggy. I'll write that off to that I put them outside and they got different levels of sun. These are things I tried to do right inside the uh, plastic cup. And these are doing fine, but several of them, I think I was just a little premature in hitting the garbage can with them. But um, they're doing okay. Those start on May 5th. And then um, I think I have some video of what I shot the other day outside, um, which is the chicken coop, chicken tractor, greenhouse, on top of the um, farm gear, farm wagon. It's uh, made to fit. So... With that said, uh, well, I, have, I have the light on on the camera for, I guess, indoor shooting. I didn't realize it was on, so I'm going to be squinting here a little bit. It's kind of bright. 
um, and it's bright outside, but so far so good. You know, right now I'm kind of waiting for a, a kind of a confirmation or a gut feeling that the temperature is going to be okay to keep these things in the greenhouse overnight with just a heat bulb, heat lamp in there. I did it last year, uh, smaller scale, and I had a lot of more problems, but they survived. You know, I did all right. My tomatoes grew. I had a really good bumper season for tomatoes last year. This year, I'm going to try to break these up and sell them real cheap. I just wanted to go through the processes of, you know, planting out in larger scale than, than I've ever done before to get a feel for, you know, what, what problems are there, what things can I run into, get experience with transplanting, um, just doing the things that I'm going to eventually, hopefully, be doing to try to get a little bit of a, I don't know if I'm going to call it a market garden so concept going, but I had talked about maybe... Um, like a community garden or garden shares and uh well we'll see you know it, it's still in the works and hopefully things will pull together but um for now uh, i'm gonna leave you with the idea that things grow um even things you throw in the garbage sometimes they just want to grow all you got to do is give them a little help the better help and the more help you give them the better off they'll be all right folks we'll talk again soon all right, so here's the, uh, the setup. So we have a sunrise, sunset, sun rises in that direction, comes up, over, and heads down there. So when it gets to the roof of that house, I've got a shadow. But otherwise, this, uh, and sorry for the wind, it's quite windy here today in New York, or Long Island. But this is the, uh, the greenhouse. You can see that I have the wheels removed. We have it strapped to the top of the uh, cart here. We have some pieces of wood in there just to keep the drafts down. And uh, I'll show you on the inside now. I use this as a step, my little picnic table bench. And as I open this, let's see. I got a temperature of 58 degrees on the floor, but at this height I got 75. And we've got some trays here. I have more to bring in. I'm in the middle of bringing them from the outside to inside. These are my first uh, that I'm going to be transplanting in a little bit. And you can see some of these back here. I will not have to transplant. I think they're doing fine. All right. So we got a bunch of stuff started. That's all peppers back there. We have another tray of peppers. Uh, I think two or three peppers altogether. This is me just bringing stuff in. And I'll try to remember to show you what I've got down in the basement. But right now, this is the uh, setup. There's the heat lamp. I tried it last night without anything in here. Got down to 41 degrees last night. With that on, it stayed at about 55. Um, and that's with the thermometer not being right underneath it. Not ideal, but, you know, all my heat's going up. But uh, for now, this will do. Maybe I'll come up with something that I can put across here to keep some of the heat down low. But... You know, it's really just a matter of, hopefully, days, and I won't have to worry as much. We, um, we haven't really got anything going in the gardens yet, over here, but we uncovered the garlic, and we've got a bunch of garlic that seems to be doing pretty well. I don't know what I'm doing with garlic, this is my first attempt, but it all seems to handle the winter nicely. And there should be strawberries and asparagus in here. Uh, I never got the cover on this, so we never really got a spring garden on this. But this will be the, uh, the main tomato garden this year. You can see that I still have some of the kale and, and greens, just, the, just stragglers that I haven't gotten to yet. It's one of these things where we keep trying to get it done, but other things become priorities. Got a little composting pile going on back here. Just throwing a tarp over some uh, wood shavings from the chickens with their manure. And then there's the uh, compost bins back there that are doing really well. Chickens love digging through it. That's why it's pulled out like that. That's the, with, there they go now. Speak of the chickens. Go ahead, girls. Show us what you do. What I try to do is throw them some scratch into the leaves over there so they know to look and start digging and and uh, they do a great job tearing into that. Of course, they're not going to show me how they do it right now. Typical. They know they're on film. They're like union actors. They don't know, you know, any
any skills shown unless they get compensated. Hey girls. All right, time to get back inside and do some more seed planting. I got the, uh, I'm gonna call this my herb garden this year. We're hoping to get just herbs in here. It's, it gets sun in the morning, but it's shaded for the afternoon, so it's not gonna burn things really bad. All right, folks, another day in the homestead. And uh, hope you all having a good day today. Bye-bye. All right, we'll just add a little to the uh, end of the last clip. This is some of the seeds I'm growing. We have, um, these are really inexpensive, 20 cents at uh, Walmart. They are American Seed Company's beefsteak tomatoes. If some of those. We have Romas. And as I go down the list here, we have some Baker's Creek Great Whites. Brad's Atomic Grapes. These aren't, we haven't seen these yet. True Black Brandywine. Uh, we did, this is where I start saying, all right, from here on we did plant. I have my ground cherries. We have some Roma VF from Ferry Morse. They are doing well. Uh, again, another package of these beef steaks. They're doing very well. Um, Burpee's early pick VF hybrid. Uh, yeah, not so good. I don't know what's going on. That was one of the trays that just didn't germinate. Um, we got some peppers. They're California, California Wanderer. And that's again American seed. I got a bunch of this stuff from Walmart for 20 cents. It was really uh, hard to pass up. Early Girl Hybrid. Is that the same one I just said? Hmm. I think it's this, the, the Burpee Early Pick VF that did okay. And it's the Early Girl Hybrid that's not doing well. I'm not sure. I'll check into it if anybody really wants to know. We got some more large red cherries. They're growing up. They're doing well. More California Wonder. Uh, these are some old seeds, um, California Wanders. They did germinate, but not 100%. Um, just decided I would go with the early stuff and give it more of an experiment. We got some Burpee Sweet Pepper Big Reds. They're doing well. The Abe Lincoln. That's one that I planted last year, and they did well. They're doing well again this year so far. Um, Cherokee Purples. They're doing well. Uh, it's some more, so I got a lot of Cherokee purples that I planted this year. Um, some Porterhouse Hybrid. This is one of the ones that I did last year, and you see the size of those things in the picture? That's no joke. These tomatoes were that big. They were amazing. Um, some Marglobes. The Marglobes, I think, were really good. They were great slicing tomato. Um, very prolific. Uh, you know, the four different kinds I grew last year, they, they all four grew really well. This is another old one from a couple of years ago. Um, they did okay for germinating. Uh, there's one called the Rutgers. This one's also doing well. Most of everything is doing well. Just, there was that one tray that just bombed. I don't know why. Uh, large red cherries. I had some more of those. Uh, super sweet 100 hybrids. These were from two years ago. They did germinate. Um, this was a burpee super beef steak. Again, they germinated. We'll see how well they do. Um, a super beef steak. I guess it's the same thing, but it was a newer seed. One called the Delicious. They did very well. All, everything I did, you know, they all germinated. Some more California Wonders. I'm trying to do both peppers and tomatoes this year. The Rebecca Allens. Um, let me think. I think one of these is... Yeah, these are the Rebecca Allens. These are the ones that I, I kind of kind of oops and uh, let them stay too long and they started growing up toward a light that wasn't intended for them but they're doing okay um, we got Bonnie's best from Baker Creek oops let's see um, dad sunset they're germinated they're one of the three that I have up here as well uh, that's this one in here they're coming along okay um, you know, I, I've, I'm trying a whole bunch. The peach habaneros, the peppers are kind of taking a little longer. California reapers, and the Aji Char Charapita. Char Charapita. I'm not sure that's pronounced. <laughs> They're supposed to be um, popular in South America. There's that hot mix that I, uh, well, actually, no, that's a different one. I have a Hungarian wax. This is just an old pack. Oh, excuse me. No, this is a new pack. This is one that I planted this year. They're doing okay. The 
American chilies are doing okay. These are the, um, this one did not do well. <laughs> the big Thai hybrids, uh, I don't think they germinated. Or if they're going to, they haven't yet. And there's the, uh, the Hungarian wax. And that's it. That covers all the seeds that I've, except for the first few up front here, that I've got in the ground to earn the seeds in the starts. And in here we'll probably go today these uh, Great Whites, Brad's Atomics, the Black Brandy Wine, and I'm sure I'll find something else to put in there. I have more upstairs. I've been using these little, actually, you know what I have right here is the ones that didn't didn't work. So were they, let's see, the Baker's Creek Pikachu Habanero first attempt didn't, didn't work. They didn't germinate. I have Big Thai Hybrids. They did not work. If I said they did, I lied. Uh, this was an old pack of um, California Wonder, but the others have since worked. The Hungarian Wax, I think I have, again, I tried them again, and now they're doing okay, but the first set didn't. And it's the Big Boy Hybrid, that's it, tomato from Burpee that didn't do it all. So, so far these are the duds. I pulled them out and added them to the, the garbage bin. So, alright folks, have a good day.